What's going on? It's Dave here from Profitable.Tools. And in this video, I'm gonna be guiding you through self-hosting Ghost using a DigitalOcean droplet. Now, I wanna explain why we're using DigitalOcean here. It's for two reasons. First of all, they have a great one-click installer that I'm gonna guide you through from beginning to end. So even if you are allergic to the command line, it's gonna be very simple. We'll be up and running in no time. The second reason I'm recommending DigitalOcean is because they've got $100 in free hosting credits waiting for you if you don't already have a DigitalOcean account. Out. You can check my link in the description for that. First things first, you are going to need a domain name to complete this tutorial. So if you don't have one picked out, go ahead and pause the video right now. Go off to your favorite domain name registrar like Hover or Namecheap, register a domain name, and then come back to the video and we can proceed together. The last thing that I'm going to mention before we actually proceed with self-hosting Ghost is just to take a moment and think about whether this is the right choice for you. Ghost does have some extremely affordable hosting plans available to you, which will take care of several issues like support and email sending. So you are going to need an additional email sending service, and it has to be through Mailgun if you self-host. Ghost takes care of all of that for you, and it starts out at just nine bucks a month. The only time self-hosting Ghost really becomes financially reasonable or beneficial is once you get over, let's say about 2000 subscribers, once we get into this 3000 subscriber range, then you're looking at a $40 a month plan from Ghost. And obviously as you grow from there, it's only gonna get more expensive. But if you're just getting started, going with Ghost Pro is probably the way to go. I'll have a link for that down below. All right, let's begin the installation. Go ahead and check out the link below to claim your $100 in free credits, and I will see you inside of DigitalOcean. All right, here we are inside of DigitalOcean. I'm gonna click on this green button here to create a droplet. And then it's gonna take us to a page here where we can configure things. The first thing and the most important thing is that we go to the marketplace and we search for Ghost. This is gonna give us our one-click installer of Ghost. It makes our life a heck of a lot easier. We don't have to worry about setting up all of the server stack, Nginx, MySQL, that's all gonna be configured for us. All right, they're gonna to try to upsell you here. You can ignore that. Scroll down to the next section where it says choose a plan. Now, if you're already coming from Ghost Pro and you're trying to migrate over to a self-hosted instance because you want to save some cash, you might think about a dedicated CPU. You could be looking at around $42 a month, which might be what you are paying or substantially less than what you are paying from Ghost. And this is going to give you a lot of resource. However, if you're just getting started, the basic shared CPU plan is going to be just fine. I do like the premium AMD CPUs. I think that is a worthwhile upgrade. And you can start as low as $7 a month. However, I recommend actually going with the $14 a month plan. That gives you a little bit more RAM and I just like to have a little bit of headroom anytime we're running a, a high traffic web server. So you can see my point here already that I'm starting off at $14 a month, whereas the beginner plan for Ghost is only $9 a month. The one reason you might want to upgrade from this is if you want to use a custom theme, that's going to put you at 25. So just kind of doing the math here, it makes a lot of sense to self-host, but for the most basic users and people who are a little bit more tech phobic, definitely start off on Ghost Pro and then you can always migrate over to self-hosted later if you like. All right, we can scroll past the block storage section and go down to choosing your data region. Choose whatever works for your country here. I'm gonna go with New York number three, why not? And let's keep scrolling down under authentication. If you have an SSH key, if you're familiar with that, you can add it in now. Otherwise, go ahead and create a password over here. I'm gonna go ahead and upload my SSH key. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, just choose a password, it's really no big deal. And then continue scrolling down. A couple of things here you might wanna check out. You can turn on monitoring, which is a good idea. This is totally free. It gives you a little bit more analytics about what's going on with your server. And you can also check on IPv6, it's just a new fast way to connect to websites. So you might as well turn that on from the get go. And you could think about enabling backups. Now this is an additional cost. You can see that they recommend it because it's an additional cost. But basically what it's gonna do is make an automated backup of your entire server once per week. So if you're coming from a world where you have automated backups of your website, this is something that you need to take into account. Again, Ghost Pro would cover this for you. If you're on another uh, you know, hosted solution like Wix or Squarespace, they're gonna be doing backups for you. You don't really have to worry about this, but you are on your own when you're managing your own server. So go ahead and tick this box if you are at all worried about backing up things on your own. Because this is a demo video, I'm gonna turn this off, but normally I would turn it on. 
All right, finalize and create. We wanna make sure we just have one droplet being created. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this a host name of daveswift.com. That's the website I'm gonna be using throughout this video. And tags, you can leave blank and go ahead and hit create droplet. All right, so this is gonna take just a moment to spin up here. And the first thing we're gonna do after it spins up is go over to our DNS settings and point an A record at our server. That'll be necessary before we actually complete the ghost setup tutorial. Things are gonna move real fast here. You'll see what I mean in a second. All right, my server has spun up and I can see my IP address right here. I'm gonna copy it by just clicking on it. Then I'm gonna head over to my DNS records. So for me, I'm using Cloudflare. You're probably gonna be using wherever you purchased your domain name. So just head back there. And what we're gonna do here is just set up a couple of records. So I'm gonna to go to add record. And the first record I'm gonna create is an A record. And I will just do at sign for the root and I'm gonna paste in that IP address. For now, I'm gonna turn off the proxy status. Now, if you're not using Cloudflare, you won't have this. Later on, after I'm set up with uh, the actual website is up and running, I'll come back to Cloudflare and turn this on. But for the setup process, I'm gonna leave it off and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save here. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is optional, but what I'd like to do is actually forward the www version over to the main root website. So I'm gonna create a C name record here with the name of www, and I'm just gonna type in daveswift.com right here. So www is gonna forward it to the root domain. Again, we'll turn off the proxy status and hit save. All right, that's it for your DNS settings. If you don't like that part, you're all done. Back over to DigitalOcean, we've got a get started button right here. We can click on this. It's gonna give us some directions what we need to do to proceed. There's really not a whole lot to learn here. Really, we just wanna SSH into our server. And the other very important thing, I guess it is important, is that anytime we make any changes to Ghost in the future, in terms of updates or editing any of the files from the command line, we need to make sure we're switching users to this ghost-manager, MGR, user account. You cannot change any of Ghost's files as the root user. Just keep that in mind. If it doesn't make sense to you, just remember before you change anything, come back to this screen and read this a few times until it makes sense. All right, so for now, all we need to do is open up our terminal. Now, regardless of whether you're on Mac OS or Windows, there is a terminal that's included. So we'll get, go ahead and open that up. For me, I'm just gonna search for terminal and here it is. And now I'm gonna type in SSH root at, and I should still have my IP address on my clipboard. I'll paste that in and just hit return here. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna connect. Basically, this is just saying, hey, we've never connected to the server before. Are you sure this is what you wanna do? I'm gonna go ahead and type yes. All right, there we go, our server has launched. Now the first thing that's happening is it's actually updating Ghost to make sure it has the latest version before we install it. This will just take a second. All right, so the update is done and you can see here that Ghost is going to prompt us for two details when we proceed. One is our domain name, which we already took care of at the beginning of this video, and two is our email address, which we need to verify our SSL. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit return here. and is doing a little check to make sure everything is installed on the server properly. We got lots of green checks, so that is great. You can see it says downloading and installing Ghost version 5.9.4. This setup process typically takes between one or two minutes, so just hang tight. Sometimes it kind of takes a while on each step, so don't worry, it hasn't frozen. It's still working in the background. All right, the installation is complete. They want us to enter our blog URL. I'm gonna go ahead and type in daveswift.com, hit return. Next, they wanna know our email address for the SSL certificate. I'm gonna enter mine in and hit return. All right, so went ahead and verified the SSL certificate. If you get an error at that step, it just means that you haven't updated your DNS settings correctly yet. So make sure you go ahead and check back at the step where I went to Cloudflare and set that up correctly. All right, so good news. It says Ghost was installed successfully. All we need to do to complete our setup is to go ahead and visit this URL right here. I copied that to my clipboard, but before we go ahead and check it out, I wanna point out again that they give us the message here that for further commands, we need to switch over to the Ghost Manager user account, and they give you the command to do this. This will always be visible inside of your DigitalOcean droplet, so you can go ahead and always click on this Get Started option over here, and you'll be able to see the command as you scroll down here. But maybe it's not a bad idea to go ahead and save this and set up a reminder for yourself if you're new to command line uh, that you need to just type in this command before you do any other changes to Ghost. All right, so I've got this URL copied. In fact, it's opened over here on this window. It's just gonna ask us a few questions. Let's give it a site title. I'm gonna say Dave Swift's blog 
give the full name of Dave Swift. My email address will be mail at daveswift.com and I can go ahead and choose a password here of at least 10 characters. All right, let's go ahead and create an account and start publishing. All right, so here we go. It says all done. That's probably a pretty good cue to wrap up this video. Of course, there's some more configuration that you need to take care of to really have Ghost fully configured. And I will be making future videos on that as well. But go ahead and look around your brand new Ghost installation. Hopefully you enjoy the platform as much as I do. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.